On the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery reads this inscription. It says, here rests in honored glory an American soldier known only to God. Thousands of Americans were killed in wars who were never identified. But this morning, one of them who was finally identified came to his home, back to it in Memphis to rest in peace. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews has this story, all new at six. These folks are here to honor a man, a veteran of World War II. Most of these folks didn't know him. They're not related to him, but he was a veteran. That's why they're here. Second Lieutenant Martin O'Callaghan is now resting in peace. He's back in his hometown now. His family, after more than 70 years of asking for answers, finally got them. The man known as Marty was a fighter pilot, shot down in the final months of World War II. They could not identify his remains. Did you ever think this day would come? Never in my wildest dreams. They played taps, marking the end of the day. It has been 73 years, but Marty O'Callaghan is no longer an unknown soldier. He has a name, a past, a life, a legacy. I spent 23 years in the military, and, and, and these are our brothers and their sisters. And, and we, we, we cry for them, and we're happy for the family that they're being able to be brought back and recognized. The military doesn't forget honoring one of their own. A casualty assistance officer is assigned to accompany the body, assigned to help the family. This is the first time Major Larry Skuka has done this duty. What an honor it is to uh, be able to be the CAO for the O'Callaghan family. Uh, not only to bring home a World War II veteran, but also you know, to remember all the other heroes that came before and after him. O'Callaghan's relatives wanted him buried in Tennessee, a place he loved, they said. And he's now at rest with other veterans. Welcome home, Lieutenant. The rolling hills, the countryside here. It's what we think of when we think of Tennessee. After 73 years, Martin O'Callaghan is at home. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.